hey welcome back in this episode we're going to look into how can you recommend a solution for single sign on first let's look into azure active directory seamless single sign on option azure active directory seamless single sign on automatically signs users in when they are on their corporate devices connected to your corporate network when enabled users don't need to type in their password to sign into azure ad and usually even type in their username this feature provides your users easy to access to your cloud based applications without needing any additional on premises components seamless single sign on can be combined with either the password hash synchronization or pass through authentication sign in methods seamless single sign on is not applicable to azure active directory federation services so it's important to note that seamless single sign on needs the user device to be domain joint only but it is not used on azure ad joint or hybrid azure ad joint devices single sign on on azure ad joint and hybrid azure ad joint works based on the primary refresh token let us now look into some of the key benefits first is user experience so users are automatically signed into both on premises and cloud based application and they don't have to enter their password repeatedly second is easy to deploy and administer because there is no additional components needed it works with any method of your cloud authentication and can be rolled out to some or all your users using group policy let's look into some of the considerations for azure ad seamless single sign on So what sign in methods do seamless single sign on work with seamless single sign on can be combined with either password hash synchronization or pass through authentication methods is seamless single sign on a free feature yes seamless single sign on is a free feature and you don't need any paid addition of azure ad to use it and what application take advantage of domain hint or login hint parameter capability of seamless single sign on These are the listed non-exhaustive list of application that can be used these parameters to Azure AD and therefore provide users silent sign in experience using seamless single sign on that concludes this episode in the next lesson we're going to look into how to recommend a solution for hybrid identity i will see you on the next one until then take care